So we are finally back in action and uploading some Call of Duty videos. There has not been a lot to upload, which is sort of crazy to think. We've got the beta, we've got information, we've got gameplay, we sort of know how it feels. And yet there's no videos to really make on Vanguard. But in today's video, we've got a banger because we're going to be talking about all of the camos that have been leaked inside of Call of Duty Vanguard. Not only do we know the camos, but we also know all of the challenges that come with these camos. We have a lot to discuss within this video. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. First of all, I could imagine a lot of you would like to hear my opinion on Vanguard. Before I quickly go over my opinion on Vanguard, if you didn't know, you can now play the beta absolutely for free. You don't need a code, you just have to go onto your store, whether it's Xbox, PC or PlayStation, and just type in Vanguard and the beta will come up and you can download it absolutely for free. It's the open beta, so you don't need a pre-order, you don't need a code, you can just go onto your store if you didn't know and you can play it for free by the time this video goes live most of you probably know this if some of you don't there is a bit of information as for my opinion on vanguard i think it does have the basis to be a good game but at the moment it just feels average i think the maps are average i think on hotel royale there's too much clutter i think that could be said on a lot of the maps there is just too much clutter about and there just doesn't need to be that much the visibility is absolutely horrendous i think it's distinguishing between players and enemies it's just too difficult in this game and i'm a young chap so my eyesight is not bad at all and i'm having to squint to see if i can see anyone and it's just too difficult the spawns the visibility and at the moment the skill-based matchmaking are the things that are letting this game down for me but let me know what you guys think i want to hear from you guys in the comment section below leave a pro for the beta and leave a con for the beta and i want to see what people are saying about this game because i've heard very mixed opinions if you guys didn't know i am hosting a vanguard giveaway if you guys want to win yourselves a copy of call of duty vanguard absolutely for free all you're gonna have to do is subscribe to the channel leave a like on this video and then just drop something random down in the comment section below and you guys entered for the camos you guys will be pleased to know they're pretty bland they're pretty boring and they're a lot like modern warfare 2019's camos if you guys didn't know it is essentially a cut and paste of modern warfare 2019 they're using the same engine it feels the same they've got the same type of movement the same type of skill-based matchmaking Vanguard is essentially Modern Warfare 2019, but reskinned to a World War II themed map. With that being said, here are the camos in no particular order. They've got spray paint, woodland, digital, urban, dazzle, cryptic, tiger, stripes, reptile, and skulls. And if we compare those camos, to the Modern Warfare 2019 camos, they're basically a cut and paste of those ones. You had Reptile, you had Skulls, you had Stripes, you had Tiger, you had Digital, you had Woodland. All of those were in Modern Warfare 2019 and they've come to return in Call of Duty Vanguard. The type of kills that you need to unlock the camos, you can get crouch kills, assist kills, defender kills, no attachment kills, long shots, multi kills, point blank, reload, sliding and mounting. There could be more, this is subject to change but those will definitely be in the game, they could add some for the full game release if they want to. There is also going to be some mastery camos, so once you've done the camo grind for the individual weapons, you do get like a gold camo, you get a diamond camo. There is also more, but I can't discuss them in this video, so you could imagine there's going to be some form of Damascus, there is going to be some form of Dark Ether or Dark Matter, some special camo that once you've completed all of the camo challenges for each of the weapons in all the LMG categories, submachine guns and all that, so on and so forth, you do get a mastery weapon or a mastery camo. We will have to wait and see what they look like and what they specifically are that will be leaked in the near future. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you guys did enjoy this video for whatever reason, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you leave your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below. But have a fantastic day. Stay safe. This is Lukey. And I'm signing out. Peace.